truly praise. We want to thank God for you on this morning. Uh, our our hymn, of, hymn of praise uh, will be, We come this far by faith. We come this far by faith. We have to all this to please, ma'am, please, sir. Amen. We will stand and let us do our hymn and our praise.
In the faculty of Hemrill, uh, page 598. The responsive reading will be found in the back of the Hemrill, number 598. The entitled, The Lord's Supper. The Lord Supper. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread congregation. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had accepted shame. This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of our Lord. Well, let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to him, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another, all. And if any man hunger, let him be at home, that he come not together unto condemnation, and the rest of I say the Lord, when I come. Amen. Amen. It's time for now. a special prayer request for those that are now sick legs. Amen. Like we said previous in prayer. Amen. If I pronounce the name wrong, amen. Charge it to my heart. To mine, not to my heart. Mm -hmm. amen. 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 You find on our a special prayer request, uh, Sister Christine James, Deacon and Sister David Ward, Sister Dorothy Brown, Brother Michael Brown, Sister Gladys Baker, Sister Renee Housen, Sister Denise Humphrey, Sister Mary Edith Elliott, Sister Arlene Peck, Brother Curtis Lowe, Sister Helen Cox, Sister Nancy Wilson, Sister Virginia Durham, Sister Linda Rupp, Sister Karma Smith, Brother John Williams, Brother Carl Hodge, Sister Donna Robinson, Brother Tracy White, Brother Mike Seahorn, Sister Willie K. Kirk, Sister Natalie Delgado, Sister Jennifer People, Brother Dawit Cook, Brother Carl Mills, Brother David Ayer, Sister the Chance family, Sister Danielle White, the Diaco family, Sister Andrea Brown and family, Brother Finley Hickman, Sister Alvita Simmons, Brother Dino White Side, Sister Sharon Bryant, Brother John Ridgeway, Brother Jared McKinney, Brother Charles Cow, Sister Hazel, Marie Pratt, Sister Della Hanson, Sister Jasmine Burton, Brother Devon Burton, Brother Andrew Smith, Brother Mark Cox, Sister Jeannie Ellsworth, all of who are bound, duly bound to pray for, the leaders of our nation, our local and state official, and to the Martha Davis Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. Anyone that know someone that need prayer, that are now on our prayer list, amen. We ask that you please, ma'am, and please, sir, 
state their names, that we may go to the petition of God's grace and petition our throne to him. Whoever needs that you know anyone, because without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is a rewarder unto those that diligently seek him. You have not, because you ask not. Trust God. Lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Any prayer requests at this time? The more, the more family. The more family. The Whitehead family. The Whitehead family. The Claiborne family. Claiborne. And the Langston family. And the Langston family. The Henry. Henry family. Dixon family. The Brian and Johnson family. The Brian and Johnson family. Amen. Amen. The Young's family. Whitney Fife. Whitney Fife family. The Bowen family. We're praying. The people of Ukraine, we pray for them. Stand in the gap for them. Ukraine, we're praying. Anyone else? <coughs> Prayer changes condition. Prayer changes things. And we brought voice our petition to an almighty and all powerful and all hearing God. We believe that God <coughs> can do anything but fail. Those that will, to please, ma'am, please serve if you like standing, you can so at this time. Amen. Not we understand. Also, Pastor, those who are incarcerated, those who are in the nursing home, and those who are green that we do not know, but God knows. Amen. We pray. Let us pray. Eternal and most powerful and all hearing, praying God. We come this morning. Because, Lord, you have been so good to us. Yes, yes. We come this morning, Master, realizing that we need you. And now the time that we need you. We need you more now than we did on yesterday. We pray, Master, that you would just give us a mind, give us a heart. That we will continue to serve you throughout this day. But we pray, Master, that you will just bless whatever we stand in need of. But you said your word out, and it shall be given, seek, and we shall find, knock, and the door shall be opened. But we pray, Master, that you will just send down your Holy Spirit in this place. We realize that without your Holy Spirit, there's nothing that we can do. But we pray, Master, that you will just bless us, whatever we stand in need of. Father, before we start begging, we want to say thank you, thank you for the clothes that you put on our back. We want to say thank you thank for the shoes that you put on our feet. Thank you for the home, you, for the roof and shelter over our head. Yeah. Then, Father, we thank you, Master, for the request that has been made known unto you. Yeah. We pray, Master, that you would just bless Martha Davis, that they may continue to be that light, that shine upon the hills, that people can see the good person. Lord, by you, Father, which is in heaven. Father, we thank you, Master, for the members. We thank you for the new members. We thank you for those that are watching by way of social media. We just want to say we thank you for them right now. Right. Father, we pray, Master, that you would just look up on our prayer request. We know that you know that you know that you got all power in your hand when you say your word that if we just come to you and ask you According to your will, Father, you say that you will heal and you will, that you will bless us whatever we stand in need of. Yeah. Father, we come to you this morning on behalf of our sisters and brothers on our prayers. We come to you this morning because we know that you are God and beside thee there is none of We come to you this morning, Father, with our heads and our heart, but we live up our spirit knowing that you can do anything but fail. Father, we just want to say thank you, thank you Father. for allowing us to see a brand new year, a day that we have never seen before. But we just want to say thank you. Somebody might not have made it, but you've been so good to 
choice. Father, yeah. you've been better to us than we even think to be to ourselves. We just want to say thank you for allowing us to be this brand new day. Father, yeah. right. pray, man, that you just bless the Marine families. Yes. The names that, or the people that we do not know, but you know all about, but we know that you're able to come to them because we realize that you don't make no mistake. Bless the one that's over our country today. We pray that you lead and guide them and direct them in the way that you lead this country to come. Father, if there's a time that we need you, Father, we show you need you now. Bless the one that's over in Ukraine. We pray that you are stricken them and keep them, keep them close together. So we know that you're God and you're able to do anything with them. We know that you're able to do the things that we need in our life, but we pray. That you have blessed Ukraine in a mighty way. Yeah, 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 yeah. We pray that you bless the leaders of our country. We pray that you bless the leaders of our cities. Have to realize that you are in control. Have to realize that you got all the power. That you, we know that you got power to destroy. But Lord, we just want to say thank you for defending us. But I don't know what tomorrow may bring, but I want to thank you right now. I want to thank you at this very moment because you've been good to us. You've been better to us than we even think to be to ourselves. We pray that you just continue to bless us on this hill called Martha Davis. Bless the choir. Bless the deacon. Bless the mother of the church. Bless the urchin. Bless the congregation. Bless those that watch. We pray that you'll bless everyone. Let's understand on my weak voice. Father, instead of us trying to figure it out, we want to thank you because we've already worked it out. Yes, we have the faith, we believe it, we trust it. That you got all power, we've got to believe it and trust it that you're going to make everything all right according to your will. Yes. We have to you hear us now. Like you've done before. The reason why I know because you heard me so many times. Yes. Father, we just love you because you first loved us. We thank you for your Holy Spirit in this place. We thank you, Master, for what you're going to do for us. We thank you for what you're doing for us right now. Yes. We thank you for what you're going to do for us on tomorrow. Continue to bless Mark and Davis. Yes. We need you, Lord. Yes. We can't make it without you. Bless us wherever we stand in need of you. And then while they prepare themselves to be a leader, we pray that you lead them and guide them and direct them in the way that you want them to go. Father, we just say, we thank you. Bless those that are here. Bless those that are traveling. And we ask that you give them traveling grace. That when we get, they get home, that they find everything clean in their sight. We pray that you'll guide the wheel and be the pilot instead of the co pilot. Father, we just want to say thank you. You've been good to us. You have spared us. Not because we've been so good, not because we kept your commandments so well, but we just want to say with your amazing grace. And Father, we believe. That this same grace is going to lead us home. We pray right now that you will bless the service in a special way. And then, Father, as we adjourn to our seat, Father, as we sit down to our seat, we pray that you've already worked it out for us. We're going to give you the prayer. We're going to give you the honor. We're going to give you all of the glory. Because, Father, we thank you. Because you first loved us. Father, we love you. We adore you. We magnify you and we lift you up. For it's in Jesus' name we do pray. And for his sake, let every heart say, Amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. Say it like you mean it. Amen. amen. At this time, we're going to have a selection from our choir. We're going to have announcements. And then after the announcement, an announcement, we're going to have a few minutes of our testimony service to let us know how God has been.
And it says, hello, Martha Davis Baptist Church. Thank all of you for your hearts to serve God and his children. Your donations of purses to women coming out of life-challenging situations and sponsoring children of incarcerated parents changed, changed lives. Many times those who are less fortunate feel forgotten by society and God. This year, through us partnering together for the work of the Lord, lives were touched and filled with the love of God. This year, children who may have felt all alone had big smiles on their faces, believing in a better future. The hand of God is upon all of us. May the goodness of the Lord follow all of you for the rest of your days. We look forward to partnering in the time to come and hopefully meeting all of you soon. God bless you greatly for all of us here at Free Indeed Ministries. Pastor Teresa Fletcher. Do we have any other announcements or acknowledgements today? Michelle, uh, that is the group that the missionaries worked with to uh, get the purses to those ladies who had been incarcerated and trying to start new lives. And then I think the church, I think I would give them $150 for three boys that did not have gifts for Christmas or anything for Christmas. So the missionaries of the church gave them some money. Uh, and we thank you for that. But I also want to thank you. I've been gone two Sundays. Please, people, if you have not had the flu shot and I had the flu shot, get it. I have been sick for almost six or seven weeks with the flu. I am still not where I was before it fell upon me. But I, you did not get cards from our family and the little things that you got last Sunday because I was too sick, people, to try to get them done. And I'm so sorry. You know that our family loves everybody here. I just was not able uh, to get it done. And Roxanne was trying to take care of me and take care of him. And, she can't do everything at one time. <coughs> so I just want to say Merry Christmas, but right now, Happy New Year, and it's going to be a good, healthy New Year for all of us. God bless. Amen. 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 Uh, observation. Uh, we want to thank uh, Deacon Langston. Uh, he was in the paper this past week uh, taking care of our youth in the community, and we appreciate you doing that because Amen. not only are you doing it for the children, you're doing it for God. God's having you to do that. And that lets us know that there's a lot of love that's out there. Amen.
Come on, Sister Bev. We, we know that you always have something to say. <laughs> no, I just want to say I am thankful that the Lord woke me up this morning. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Let me see 2023. I'm thankful that he allowed me to see 2022, but I am thankful to be here in 23. On behalf of the Sunday School Department, now you know I'm going to say something about Sunday School Department. Uh, we want you to come out and be a part of the Sunday School oh, yes. in 2023. You, you will enjoy it. Yes, you and will. It's, it's, a, it's a time to do a Sunday School that, hey, you can say how you feel because we've all studied the Sunday School lesson and you can be a part of it. Mm -hmm. But I just want you to know that I am thankful that the Lord has brought us through to where we are right now, oh, yes. and I'm, I'm praying that he will continue to bless us, because we've been blessed, and I believe he's going to bless us more, yes, and I'm just thankful for all of you, I want you to know that I love you and everything, and Sister Ann, glad to see you here, I wish Dick and Boyd was here, but we understand, but we are thankful, we love you, and remember, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Amen. 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 Amen.
As we come to the throne of grace this morning, we want to thank everyone for their testimony. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, as Martha Davis, want to stand in the gap for those who might have wanted to stand, but they didn't. But we stand in the gap for all of those others that, that God knows that's on their hearts. Yes. And as oh, we yes, come sir. to him this morning, dear Heavenly Father, we want to give you all the honor, glory, and praise. For we know that we have came this far by faith. We didn't come on our own to him, but Father, because you brought us to where we are now. Yes. You brought us out of 2022. You're taking us into 2023. Thank you, Lord. And Thank to heaven, the Father, we know that the cattle, all of the cattle up on the thousand hills, everything belongs to you. Everything that we have, to heaven, the Father, belongs to you. You gave us the ability to be steward keepers yes. of all of your goods, dear Heavenly Father. Yes. And you have blessed this little house that we call Martha Davis. Thank now, dear Heavenly Father, as we come to pay our tithes and our offers and the gifts, we ask, dear Heavenly Father, that you'll continue to raise the windows of heaven and send your blessings down as we send our tithes and our prayers up, dear Heavenly Father. Yes, Lord. And dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless those who have it to give, those who do not have it to give. Please, please. For Lord, you know that they give of their heart, and if they have it, they would give it all to you. Yes. Because all that we have, Lord, belongs to you. And yes, we just want to say again, thank you, thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank dear you. Heavenly Father. Thank and dear Heavenly Father, we just ask that these gifts that we are given this morning may be used for the upkeep of your kingdom. Heavenly Father, that we give it with the utmost that we have, because there again, everything that we have belongs to you. And those who are traveling back to their homes, dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you just continue to give them traveling mercy. Please, Lord. They don't have to have a co-pilot, because you are the pilot. Thank you. Thank you. And you are the protector, dear yes. Heavenly Father. That when we all get back to our homes and our destinations, that we will find that all is well. And it is to you that we give all the honor, we give all the glory, and Lord, we certainly give all of the praise. And your people ever were said, Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. amen.
church say amen. Amen. Say it like you mean it. Amen. Amen. I was reading with me on this morning. From the very scripture. From the scripture. Um, to deal with uh, the 91st Division of Psalms. 91st Division of Psalms. Amen. Because we all. Need the security of our Lord to be trusted. We all need that security. Amen. We need that security that will take us through our this year because if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, my brother and sisters tell me where we would be. Uh, this is the ninth first division of Psalms. Amen. I'm reading out of the New American Standard Bible. But it all means the same. 91st edition of Psalms. You find these words written. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shelter of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortune, my God in whom I trust, for it is he who delivered you from the snares of the trap and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his prompt, his, his pinions, and under his wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a bulwark. You will not be afraid of the terror by night or of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that strike that stalks in darkness, or of the destruction that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand. But listen to it, but it shall not approach you. Amen. You will only look on with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. For you have made the Lord my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place. I read you. 91st Division of Psalm, verses 1 through 9. The Lord have already blessed the reading in the hearings of his holy, righteous, and divine word. Martha David, amen. The Lord is going to protect us, amen, throughout this year. Amen. At this time, we're going to have a selection coming from our heavenly Martha David's court. <laughs>
reference to Christ, which the head of the church, who is the author, defense of our faith, to the deacons, to this great singing class, Mark Davis, amen, heaven the choir, amen. 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 To Sister Young and to the congregation and to the ushers, we give God the praise and we give Him the honor. Amen. We thank God for Amen. The director. Amen. 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 I, I see you over there. I learned to keep straight. Amen. We just want you to know that. Amen. We got you. Amen. To all of God's children, know that who are watching <coughs> by way of social media, by Facebook, amen, and by amen, YouTube, we thank God for you on this morning. We thank God for our visitor. Amen. 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 We want to let you know, brother, that we love you, that we thank God for you on today. Amen. Now, I am a long-winded preacher. Amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. We don't say amen. That means I need to keep that on going. But when you say amen, that means I have to go ahead and close it out. Amen. amen. But if you don't say that, amen. I got your number. Uh, I got your number. So amen. We pray, amen, that something will be said that will bless us, amen, throughout this year. God is still good. Amen. He is worthy of all our praise. And those of you who have your Bibles, we ask that you would turn with us, amen, to Luke chapter 17. Amen. Luke chapter 17. Amen. This is a message for all of us, even for me. Amen. It started out with me, and it comes to you. Amen. Luke chapter 17. Uh, we'll take one verse to be. 32nd verse. This 32nd verse. Luke the 17th, verse number 32. Amen. We pray that when you find the word that we will say amen. 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 If you hadn't found it, say wait a while. Uh -huh. Amen. If you want to, you can bring your cricket, you have whatever you got, uh, your AT&T, uh, your Verizon, or whoever phone plan that you have. And if you got the Bible have, you can pull it out at this time. Amen. But for those of you who have the Bible with that you were talking with us, amen, to Luke chapter 17, uh, verse number 32, where that you will stand in reference to God's holy word. Amen. 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 I told you, if y'all don't help, we'll be here long. Amen. 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 You find these words written. Remember, Lot's wife. You may be seated. All right. Amen. Amen. Remember, see, I, see, I put that word. Amen. Remember, Lot. Then I think I need to tell you my subject this morning. 
and my subject is, don't look back. Amen. Amen. Don't look back. In our lesson, we see that Jesus makes a very simple statement. But relates, that relates to a very big problem. And that is the key and the ability to be able to walk away from our old lives into a new life. But the problem is, Martha Davis, that it seems as though our past always wants to call us back to where we used to be. Amen. It seems to be as though our past Love to come back and hunt us. But I can hear the word of God saying, don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back to and on the negative of our lives. Stop looking back to what used to be or could have been. Look at what the Lord has done for you. The statement that we see in our lesson to remember Lot's wife is sandwiched between Jesus' discussion on how judgment came upon the man while he went through his everyday life. Well, Think of the great things he would have do for us on tomorrow. <laughs> and between his discussion on how a changed life will keep us from a destructive end. Although the Lord gave this lesson to some, their tomorrow, amen, brought only their destruction. Right. Amen, I'm being long today. All right. I can't hear you. When we visit the text, we see that Lot wife turned into a pillar of salt after she looked at that, at the city of Sodom, where she lived, which was being destroyed by the Lord. Well, yeah. Now, my question is, Martha Davis, was her punishment because she disobeyed the command given by the angels not to look back as they fled, or was it because of the reason that she looked back? I would ask them my own question by saying that she was punished for both. Because in our story, we know that Jesus did not want them to look back. Well, he wanted us, Martha Davis, amen, to trust in his direction and his future for our lives. God knows that when we look back, we are saying in our heart that, amen, that we miss where we came from and that we are unsure of where we are going. And most of all, we are not clear where God is leading us. Well, is them here? In Genesis chapter 18, the Bible said, tell us how Abraham and how Abraham petitioned the Lord about his family that was in this wicked place called Sodom. And I can hear the man of God asking God to spare the city if he could find some righteous peoples in the city. Yeah. He, he began to open a bid, amen, to save the city where if he could find 50 righteous people in that city where he spare the city. <coughs> then he thought about and said, well, maybe 50 is a bit much. What if I drop it down to 40? All right. Wait a minute. Lord, I heard about some of those people down there. Lord, maybe 30 would be a better number, or even 20. Lord, just allow me to find 10. If I can find 10 righteous people, Amen. In the city, will you spare the city? Amen. He dropped it. Amen. For the deep, from 50 to 10. Well, well. Yes. My question is, will we be able to find, amen, 10 righteous people in Jefferson City? All right. Come on, y'all with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. In chapter 19, the Bible tells us that the Lord sent two angels. To say Abraham's family. You know the story. The story a man about it, and a lot looked spake unto his son-in-law, which married, amen, his daughter. 
here not believing. Amen. The Bible tells us that the sun was risen upon the earth when Lot entered into Zohar. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon the Lord. Brimstone and fire. Amen. From the Lord out of heaven. And he alone the city and all the plains and all the inhabitants of the city. And that which grew upon the ground. Yeah. But then came the disobedience. The Bible said that his wife, Lot, wife, looked back from behind him. Amen. And their only instruction was not to look back. Amen. My today, don't look back well, well. into the past of 2022. Look for what God is about to do for us. Amen. In the year of 2023. Well, We need to understand. I'm about through now. Y'all ain't helping me this morning. Amen. We need to understand that the original Hebrew language has the word look back. Indicate that she was taking a longer look upon the city. A look back that indicate she wanted what she left in the city. And not what God has saved her from. That's where we are today. Yeah. We're always looking back, complaining about what happened in 2022, but we got to learn how to look forward. Yeah. Amen. And be prepared for what God has for us in 2023. Well, yeah. 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 All because she wanted to look back. I don't know, my brothers and sisters, if it was the stream or the city lights. The music, the party of her friends, her job, or her kin folks. All I know, brother, sister, that she looked it back. Yeah. yeah. And this is not the first time in scripture that we have seen being instructed not to look back. If you remember in Luke, you see that Jesus is telling the disciples that we should not be looking back at the things of the world. In our own life, when he has a better life awaiting for us. Yeah. Teaching us not to look back, amen, with a longing, amen, for this life. You live before receiving Christ. <coughs> Luke 17 and 33 says that whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall find it. Well. Saints. And I get ready to close. Right. Can I tell you that there is a danger in looking back? Yeah. All right. Yes. My neighbors, we can never go forward looking back. Nope. Mm -hmm. Amen. I hear your path very on. You said, I hear you, but you just don't understand. I had it good back then. I'm, amen. Reverend Young, what are you 
hand. Well, let me put it to you the way that Paul said in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away, but behold, all things are become new. Well, yeah. In other words, since we have accepted Christ as our Lord and Savior, we have made a vow. Amen. To follow him and to follow his lead. And not too long for the things of the world. Yeah, I heard a song say, Where will the Lord lead? Amen. I will follow. Yeah, we should look forward to the eternal thing and not worry about so much about our earthly things. At the sight of the Christ. Amen. We have to press forward towards the mark that God has set before us. When we are looking back, while waiting, walking forward, at some point or another, we will run into something while looking back. Amen. And look how spiritual that is. How can we ever move forward in what God has for us if we are still looking backward at the yesteryear? All right. Yeah, or how things used to be. You ought to turn to your neighbor and say, baby, turn to your neighbor. Say, baby. Neighbor. Come on now. I'm talking to you. Tell you, turn to your neighbor. Say, baby. baby. <laughs> Is y'all with me today? I'm going to say it again. Turn to you later. And say, hey! hey. I can't hear you. Hey. I have trouble hearing. I, I, I sometimes uh, I, I have trouble hearing because I can't hear it. Now, if, if I was watching the T new T game or the Dallas Cowboys, I could hear a whole lot of noise. <laughs> if your favorite team is playing football, if that basketball, you hear a lot. But I can't get you to say, oh, baby. Turn to your name. And say, baby. It's a new season.
you see all the things, amen, God has already done along the way. Yes, they forgot. Amen, they cried for freedom. And God set them free. They were crying, they forgot that they thirst for water. Amen, and God squeezed bitter water with the tree branch and allowed it to flow from a rock. They forgot that they cried for God for food to eat. Amen, and God gave them bread from heaven. Yes, I need to tell you this morning, don't look back upon your old life, your old ways, and your old hats. Amen. But look forward, amen, to the wonders that God has in store for you. I hear a question that has been asked, amen, as I get ready to close because, amen, I feel like, amen, ain't nobody here but me and the Holy Spirit. Well. Yeah, but if you with me. Amen. You ought to at least say it. Amen. 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 I heard a question. Amen. That it's being asked. And I think that, amen, it is a legitimate and fair question. Amen. You are asking me, Reverend Young, amen, have you ever looked it back? Yes. And I will tell you, yes, I look back. But when I look back, I didn't look back at the things that I had. Yes, I didn't look back at the lifestyle, amen, that I was possessing. Well, but I, when I look it back, amen, my soul looks back at one. Uh -huh. Amen, how I may know. Right, right. Yeah, so if you look back, amen, don't look, amen, through the negative telescope lens. But when you look back, amen, look back upon what the Lord has done for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And get to get you, amen, where you are today. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mark Davis, amen, the Lord, yeah. amen, shown up, been good to us. Well, well. Yeah, we can thank him, mm -hmm. amen, for what he has done. Yeah. Turn around and thank him, yeah. amen, for what he's doing now. Yeah. And then proceed to thank him for what he's going to do. Yeah, yeah and then thank him. Amen. Even though you may not be where you think you should be, uh -huh. but you ought to thank him. Amen. That you're not where you used to be. Uh -huh. Yeah, and let me stop something in your spirit this morning as I close. And that is, amen, don't let the guilty of your past Life, yeah, keep you, amen, from reaping the rewards of our new life in Jesus. Yeah, please, my brother and sister, don't be shackled by the things that we used to do. Amen, the call, if you have, ask the Lord God to begin. Amen, then he's already had. Yeah, we need, oh Lord, to remember, amen, the Christ washed us with his blood. And the things uh, that we have done wrong in the past, yes, have been forgiven. Yeah, aren't you glad, amen, that the Lord forgave? Yeah, and that no longer need to worry about them coming up the wall, the grace of God is with you. Yeah, yeah I love the saying, saying that, that God, uh, he will, uh, amen, put a sign uh, at the Red Sea uh, or at the sea uh, of your life. Uh, he will write uh, on the sign uh, that says, uh, no fishing. Right. Uh, in other words, uh, it'll never uh, come back up uh, in your life uh, because uh, you've been forgiven. I want you to know, uh, like wine, uh, looking back uh, and longing uh, for an old life, uh, and it kept her down. Uh, I stopped my 
You tell you, uh, mark the days, uh, when you let your own line uh, be a hindu, uh, power help. I want you to know uh, our life, uh, what the writer uh, of Hebrews said, uh, when he put it uh, in this way, uh, wherefore uh, seeing we uh, our own soul uh, often pass uh, around uh, with the slow break uh, upon uh, the wind. Uh, let us uh, lay aside uh, every weight uh, and the sin uh, with us uh, so easy uh, be shared. And let us uh, run this race uh, with patience uh, that is set before us, uh, looking uh, unto Jesus, uh, the author uh, and the finisher uh, of our faith, uh, who brought uh, the joy uh, that was set uh, before him in uh, doing the cross, uh, despising uh, the shame. And it set uh, down uh, at the right hand uh, of the throne of God. Uh, so I got by to tell you, uh, to tell your neighbor, uh, with the scripture uh, in mind, uh, that we're looking uh, for uh, and no more uh, looking back. Uh, I made a mind uh, of a story uh, that sang a song, uh, tell them uh, I come uh, this to turn around now, uh, tell them uh, that the Lord uh, been good to you, uh, and I'm not uh, going to look back, uh, I just can't uh, give up now, uh, because uh, I come this far uh, from where uh, I started from, uh, I want you to know uh, as I close this morning, uh, church is not helping me. I want you to know uh, that Jesus uh, died on the cross. Uh, he stayed there uh, all day Friday. Uh, he stayed there uh, all day Friday night. Uh, he stayed there uh, all that Saturday. Uh, he stayed there uh, all Saturday night. Uh, early, 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 early. One Sunday morning, uh, he got up uh, with all power uh, in his hand. Uh, I stopped by the jail. Uh, To the high calling. Yeah. Forget about those things that happened in 2022. Well, Focus on the thing that God has in store for you for 2023. We come this far yes. by faith. Yes. Lean on the everlasting arms. Yes. If there's a time that we need God, mm -hmm. now is the time. Yeah. Do the church is open. Maybe someone here would like to come by letter, by Christian experience, or by baptism. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man come in, he said, I will sit with you, and you with me. Well, what a joy to mine. Lean on the everlasting arm. God bless you. Your church is open. But you come. Maybe don't put off for tomorrow, but what you can do today. Tomorrow is not promised. But he allowed you to see a brand new day into a brand new year. Don't look back. Don't look back.
Amen. We thank God for his visitation of his Holy Spirit. We thank him for the message. We thank him for the messenger. Amen. At this time, we're going to prepare on the table of the church. That is the Lord's Supper. Amen. We ask that you would examine ourselves. Deep down in your heart, nobody knows what you've done but you and God. Amen. Deep down in your heart and whatever you have done, now is the time to ask God to forgive you because we do not want to be in condemnation. Amen. But we want to love God. We want to open our hearts freely unto Him. Thank and if there's anything that shouldn't be, we ask that you would ask God to forgive you. Amen. At this time, we want to amen, pray over our Lord's Supper. We want to pray that God will see or that he may deliver us from whatever state we are in in this life. Amen. Let us pray. Most gracious in heaven, the Father, we thank you for your God and Son, Jesus, for dying on the old rugged cross. And they took him down, they buried him. But early one Sunday morning, he died with all power in his hand. Father, we thank you for this body that we're about to receive and pray and was broken for us. Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank for, you. The place called Calvary. Father, we pray, Matthew, we thank you thank for the blood that was shed for the remission of our sin. Yeah. Father, we just love you. We pray that you would help us to examine our lives. If there's anything that is not pleasing in your sight, we pray that you please forgive us and that we may continue to run this race without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. We love you because you first loved us. For in Jesus' name we do pray for his sake. Let every heart say, Amen. 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 At this time we're going to take about Lord's Supper. Amen. If you do not have one, that you will please, ma'am, and serve you. Amen. We may be able to serve you because we don't want to leave nobody out. We don't want to leave nobody out. We're all one big family. <laughs> Amen. We're all one big family. Amen. night that Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and he blessed it. He said, this is my body which is broken for you. Let us all eat together. On the same night, he took manna and he said, this is my blood of the New Testament. Do this as often as remembrance of me. This is my blood that was shed for your precious life that he saved through his blood. This is the blood that we're about to receive. Let us all drink together. Then after he had done that, he sent them out two by two. So what I used to do this morning at, at the heavenly choir, uh, sing a song. We have those that are on our right come around and let's fellowship together. We are totally dismissed because he sent them out two by two. Go ye therefore into the hedges and highway. Proclaim the good news. Tell them about a man named Jesus. Let's come. Let's fellowship together. Those on my right, let you come around and let's fellowship with one another.